situation where they could be. The findings of a coronial inquest into the four deaths are expected to be delivered by September. Mark Bennett, ABC News, Esperance. It's the news all parents dread that one of their children has been seriously injured in an accident. On a sunny Saturday in March, Kim Goodrick's 15-year-old son Connor wasn't responding to her calls, so she used an app to track his location. That devastating day began a journey of hope recovery and the wonders of medical technology. It was a perfect afternoon in Byron Bay. Connor Meldrum and his friend Scott were hanging out together when they made an impulsive decision. There was just a wall of emergency vehicles just there um, and, and I just knew that something had happened. Connor had fallen while trying to climb around the cliff face at Cape Byron. Scott managed to call triple zero and clung onto the rocks for three hours awaiting rescue. We couldn't go back down because it was too sit steep. Yeah. At that stage, it wasn't even clear if he'd survive, um, but if he did survive, he'd done a lot of damage to his brain. But over the past three months, Connor's recovery has astounded everyone. Family and friends from his hometown of Eureka in northern New South Wales have been paying regular visits to the Mater and Queensland Children's Hospitals in Brisbane. Miraculous. It's been a miraculous recovery for Connor, uh, a testament to the emergency surgery and the rehabilitation team that are putting the pieces back together. It never ceases to amaze us. I guess he puts 150% in. I just want to do my best. While doctors remain unsure how the injury will affect Connor's long-term brain function, his best chance at recovery relies on a piece of 3D printing which fits into Connor's damaged skull. Designed and printed in Melbourne, it uses a porous, high-density polyethylene material that mimics the properties of living bone. This is uh, Australian world-class leading technology uh, to rebuild Connor's shattered skull. I think it's amazing um, and I'm really pleased that it's being used for good. <laughs> Connor is expected to undergo the surgery soon. His family is putting its faith in the doctors and others who've already achieved so much for his recovery. Hannah Ross. Time now for sport with Jared Coote.